is hot. <laughs> well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It's me, your mama. John and Mama here on Coffee Time. Can we talk? Can we talk? Goodness. Can we talk applesauce? Is good, no matter how you do it. And if you have a little strawberry to it, it's really good. It just sparkles. Mama's making. Mama, what are you making? Tell them. <clears throat> I'm going to try to fix a peach cobbler. It's in our cookbook. In our cookbook on some page. I don't know where your thumb's at. Easy Cobbler 39 down here at the bottom. And so here we have a cookbook. Easy Cobbler. One can of fruit. Your choice. One cup of self and flour. One stick of butter. One cup of sugar. And one cup of milk. Well, it says in a 12 by 13 pan or 12, but I'm going to change the recipe as usual. I'm going to fix just, for me and you, just a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of milk, and a half a cup of sugar, and try it. If it flops, it flops. I ain't never done this before. It sounds good, Mama. So that's what I'm going to do right quick while you're doing that. Mine's quick, easy. It wouldn't even make a whole video. It's so fast. Do I need to drain them in that colander thing before? We... Uh, it wouldn't hurt. You just bring me the con, just hand that colander, and I'll just dip them out of here. I didn't think about that. Now here is some apples. Looky here. I peeled all these apples this morning, <clears throat> diced them up, and I've had them in ice water in salt. They have turned a little brown, but not bad. You wanna. And for what I'm doing with them, it won't matter. And I'm not going to use all these <clears throat> because um, I don't need them all. Here's your pan. Sit that in. And look at there. So I'll just drain these as I go. Nice I don't know how much it'll take. I'm going to freeze the rest of these apples. <clears throat> you won't take many. Yeah. No, it won't take many. I would say it's been years since we get them every once in a while that comes in rotted, but we don't let apples just rot. When they start getting the least bit swivelly, we chop them up and use them for breakfast, or we use them for applesauce, or we do something with them. And it's not that hard. You can see here the ice water. You could, I could have put lemon in these. That would have also kept them fresh. Mama overshot that ice, it skidded across the top and shot over in the floor, but it was real little. I see it. Maggie it. I put, I put some ice water, I said Maggie's water fish dish today. <clears throat> and she loves it. Now, for this little I'm going to use the handy dandy chopper. And some of y'all are asking about the chopper when I used it the other night. It is on Mama's website. And you just go in under kitchen tools. And you'll find it. It's called the Supersonic Pro Chopper. I think it's its new name. But if you just search chopper. C-H-O-P-P-E-R. You'll find it. Let me get it all out here. This is such a wonderful, quick, little, easy thing. So here is the guard. Hang on to that. Pop him right down in there. <clears throat> All the ingredients I'm going to use is, of course, apples. If a piece or two of that ice gets in there, that's fine too. It's all good. It's all good. This is going to be a quick, simple, easy. If you don't already have a chopper, you need to get you one because I use it all the time. But if you don't have a chopper, don't fear, you can use a food processor. You can even chop this up by hand. Can y'all see what I'm doing here? There you go. So in your food processor, for this applesauce, now you can make Plano delicious applesauce. And I do that occasionally. Sometimes I just want some applesauce with brown sugar and vanilla in it. Sometimes I make it for pork chops and I even put a little bit of allspice or cloves in it just to give it a tinge of that difference but we do use it we do use to make a lot of i've got i've been outside and i've got this hay fever back a little bit excuse me but i think it's affecting my ability to speak correctly too take two on that one y'all can delete that first part if you want to <laughs> We do make a lot of applesauce here. 
Now into this, I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is just give it a little chop chop. And that's going to make everything else go in it quick. So there you see, I put, I don't know how many apples. And this will be up to you because you'll be wanting to do it according to your size of house. So you're going to have eaten. So I'm going to chop these up, get them well on their way to applesauce. We're almost to applesauce now. I'm going to look at this, see if I can add a few more apples. I think I can. I think I can, I think I can. Let me drain them off. Mom and I don't usually eat a lot of apples. A lot of applesauce. And I don't put a lot of sugar in it. I do put a little. Not a lot. I think I can put a few more in here though. Now what we'll do with this, this is the kind of thing, it's kind of like sherbet or something that you just keep in the refrigerator for a refreshing treat. When the kids come in an hour before supper and say, I'm hungry, you can give them a little bit of this and it won't spoil their dinner, but yet it's a little cool refreshing treat. This is the kind of thing that mama likes to go to when she's been out in the garden and she comes in and she's hot and tired and it's too hot to eat but yet you want a little cool retreat this is perfect didn't it mama yeah. um, we keep it in the refrigerator in a bowl or mama sometimes gets all fancy and she'll dip it up in little cups with lids and uh, have it in there just to grab like a yogurt so this is just going to be applesauce see it's almost there already so now I'm going to add to this just a little bit of vanilla. This is a new vanilla. Come on now. I should have opened this, shouldn't I? Okay. So now I'm going to put one cap of vanilla. You can use any vanilla you want. Some people use different vanillas for different things. We don't necessarily do that. Now into this, I'm also going to, I put my hand over that coffee, it was so hot, it, I felt the heat. First I thought I'd hit a candle. Mm. I'm here to tell you, coffee is one of the best things for allergies in my world. I'm not being a doctor. I'm just being realistic. I love coffee anyway, but now I drink it for municipal purposes. I'm going to put one half, one teaspoon, another half, another one, two teaspoons. And I'll try that and see if that's enough. And this is just sugar. Now this is just dry jello. Strawberry gelatin, dry right out of the box. This happens to be Ginger Evans, which is our store brand at the Save a Little. The Save a Lot. Ginger Evans. You use you. What have you got? Use it. <clears throat> so I'm just putting this dry right in here. And I'm going to put for this packet, which is three ounces, I'm going to put about half of it. And then I'll see what I have. On you go. Mama's over here frying up something else. What do you find, Mama? Now watch it strap in there. What are you frying? Frying some hamburger? Oh, okay. So are we having spaghetti maybe tomorrow? Oh, we're having uh, chicken spaghetti. 
Mama, that's a good good news. Okay, so you just want to blend it, grind it, whatever you want to do, until. Now I do have to, you know, once you get it, the food above the blade, there's nothing the blade can do about it. Just push all that down. Give it a good little stir stir. Now I'm going to put a little bit more. Now the beauty of this is, if you don't like strawberry, you can use cherry. If you don't like cherry, you can use raspberry. You can use orange. You can do any flavor of applesauce you want to do. Put a little bit more. So this will be a little bit more than half. You know what I'm just going to... I think what I'll do... Use it all, and then I will add some more apples if it's too much. This is one of those feel your way through it because, you know, different apples taste different. Some are sweet, some are not, some are different. So you just want to make sure you pull it enough. That's one thing about this recipe on the chopper, I can't overdo it. Because Mama kisses me and making everything into applesauce. She'll say, you're making those peppers into applesauce. They know you do. Okay. Apple sauce is ready. Let me give you a spoon. We'll get you one, Mama, because you love this. We make this not all, not like every week or nothing, but we do keep it in the summer. It's something refreshing. Mama made this for the kids at school uh, when she was at school. And so, it's so good. You might remember. Oh, that's where I remember that from. From school. Well, here you go. If it if it needs it, I can put another apple or two in it. I told y'all the other day. I said I'm not showing you how to make an apple sauce. Well, that's it. All right, Mama, you go ahead. You're the taste of that. See if it's apples. I sweet enough, not apples enough. Taste this. Hmm. It is good. Yeah. Is it too strawberry? No, I don't believe unless it gets stronger as it says. And you can always add some more crushed apples to it. It's delicious. You can put these out in little styrofoam cups with the lid on them or those little two ounce souffle cups or if you have the Tupperware little ones. Beautiful and then they're ready to go. You can also, for very few carbs, use that can of whipped cream that's in the can. It has almost zero carbs in it and it's good. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. It's good. You can use this with a piece of cake, like plain cake, and use it as almost an icing. Or you can, um, or you can just eat it like this. It's my favorite way to eat it. Mm mm mm. I have done it in cherry before. It's good. It's cherry also. Mama's one of Mama's favorites. Raspberry. Yeah. It does taste a lot like a fresh strawberry crushed up. It's, of course, it's not, and you couldn't use it for jelly or jam, but, well, I don't know that you couldn't. Mama, could you make jam out of apples and then paste like strawberries? Oh, I don't know. I've never. Now yeah, we're on to something my mind's turning. Oh. I don't know. Okay. It seems doable. So that is the apple sauce. Strawberry applesauce. Fresh. Delicious, good for you. Good eats and good treats. Okay, if you want to get my recipe, I'm going to get this melted. You can add a dash of salt to the applesauce too. I didn't. Mm -hmm. But you can if this make it sweeter. All right, Mama's turn. Mama? It says a stick Show of us. butter, so I'm just going to put a half a stick because I'm using a little pan. It's just me and you. So. Page 39 of the Church Cookbook. One, two, three, four. There will be details in the comments. If you want to order one, they're $17. And that's shipping and all. Uh, and they're, all the money goes to the church. That's wrong page. Okay, Easy Cobbler is what this title is. And it says, one can of fruit, your choice. One cup of self-rising flour. You're already on the butter. One stick, so you're using a half a stick. I'm going to use a half a stick because it says what, but 12 by 9? Uh, 9 by 13. 9 by 13. So this one's a 8 by something. I'm going to stick this in the easy bake and let this 
butter melt, and you opened up the peaches for me. Nope, I did. I said, we. I, I will. You already washed the eggs wet. I can tell she's washed it. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell she's washed it. Well, John, come on now. Clamping off. This is our uh, Tupperware can opener. It unseals your cans. There's no cutting about it. It just unseals them. It's got that beautiful handle. So easy to turn. You don't have to worry about your hands cramping up. You can use it any way you need to. You can use it right or left handed. And you can tell when it breaks the, when it's done doing its thing, you take it off, you take your little bird beak up here, that little metal thing there, and you just stick it on there, bring it around, and you pull up. Mama, do these need drained? No, you uh, We put them in there. Let me get my bowl. There's no sharp edges of any kind. You can. Nothing to cut you, nothing to hurt you. Okay. Right you want to drain them? No, huh? I'm going to put them in my pan. Don't what am I doing with this? I'm going to put flour in it. Oh, I thought you just handed me that. No. No, ma'am, you was not. So what are y'all up on this Saturday? You know, we have, I have, my phone has beeped several times with threats of rain. It says, rain alert, rain alert. You got a half a cup measure over there. We have not had any rain. I can just tell you. Mama, I've got all kinds of measures over here. If I can just find one. Now the red ones is in the second one. Or pink ones or whatever. Red and yellow. Half a cup. <clears throat> Boy, that's that flour was trying to poof. It was that fan was making it. So a half a cup of flour, half a cup of sugar. Mm-hmm. So this used to be what we call cup a cup a cup. Yeah, it is a cup, but I'm a. She's changing it to a half a cup a half a cup a half a cup. Making it smaller because we don't need a whole big. Mama, get you in here where we can see you cooking. Do what? Get you in here where we can see you cooking. <clears throat> Have you got that little whips over there? Mm hmm. Mama's not as tired tonight. Some of y'all were worried about Mama last night. Thank you for worrying. But she's fine. Mama is tired a lot of times when we video. Because we video so late. I'm tired sometimes when we video. Um, but I drink enough coffee. I'm pretty well good till about 10 o'clock. And then I've got to go to bed. Sometimes I choose to go to bed earlier. But at 10 o'clock, my body says, Hey, I see Mama left us. She, she gone. She ain't even in the room. I had to go get the mail. <laughs> you would have to have a drone to film Mama. They would have to follow her around. It has to be one of those. Somebody said, why don't you buy one of those cameras that follows you around? I said, it would go crazy. It would be spinning like a top. And it would. I'd lose my phone. It would be... You can't cook and not lose. I know, Mama. Mama's like that, though. It is. Are you ready to come back? Here she is. Here's Mama. Oh, I had to go get milk. Milk? Does it say I milk? I don't like this cup because it's on the millimeters what? and I hold it this way and board my right hand and you've got to do it this way. Well, look through it, Mama. I can't. The lines messes me up. I have a hard enough time seeing it right. <laughs> so how much you putting in there? A half a cup, and look at that. You did good, Mama. I did good. Now this is just 2% regular milk. You can use whole milk, whatever you milk have. you've got. We normally have whole milk, but uh, now we feel Mama, picked up, up. Mama picked up the, wrong the blue. 
And I don't know why. He was probably in shock from the price. Yeah, I bet. We'll do it every time. And you was just like, give me some milk. No beater, no turbo mixer required. Just a whisk. Just this is just a flat wire whisk. Now, if you want to, uh, there you go. It's just add just a little bit of your vanilla in that would make it taste wonderful. Okay, in this. Uh huh. I'll put a cap in there. Cap is usually what I use for everything because it's right here. It's easy to measure, and that's all you do. Okay. It don't call for the vanilla, but I like the flavor of the crust on it. Okay. Now, now what do you do, Mama? Now get your book. What do you <clears> do with <throat> that book that fast? Well, it's right here. I think you pour the peaches. It says, melt butter in a 9 to 13 baking pan. Cover with the fruit. So I'm going to pour the fruit in here. Juice and all, it says. Kind of spread those out. Mm -hmm. I'd hate to, to use a 9 by 13 cause for one can of juice and one can of peaches yeah that That's, would be if you do the 9 by 13 I recommend two cans yeah or the great big cans now it says uh, cover with fruit mix flour sugar milk and vanilla cup flavor in our case together and pour over the top mm. and then bake it 30 minutes at 350 uh, best served with scoop of vanilla ice cream well of course that goes without saying. All cobblers are best served with a scoop of vanilla flavor. <laughs> of ice cream. Uh, I mean, yeah, of ice cream. <laughs> I was looking at vanilla flavor. So all I'm going to do is... Mama used to call this recipe her cup of cup of cup of cobbler. <clears throat> and it just means it's a cup of fruit, a cup of sugar, a cup of flour, and a cup of milk. Now I know this may look like something you've never witnessed before and you think, now how on earth? There's no dough, there's no rolling, there's none of that scent stuff. This is simple and easy. And this will magically turn into a cobbler I with, hope it with does. crust on top. I hope it does with this uh Half a cup instead of a whole cup. I think you will, Mama. I think the process will be the same. So that's all you do, folks. That's hot. I melted butter. Let me have one of your hundred year old oven mitts. Don't, don't make fun of my oven mitts. There it is. So now that will go in the easy bake. <clears throat> Some of y'all want to know about the easy bake. When we get new people, we uh, forget to tell you that's just a KitchenAid convection oven with a deep with an air fryer that we have, and we call it the Easy Bake. And um, we cook almost everything in it because, especially in the summer, it's too hot to start the big oven. Uh, Jennifer Horn, I can't see what that says. Hello, Annie. How are you? I have picked in. Frozen two and a half. Annie, what have you got? Two and a half gallons of blueberries this oh, wow. week. Looking forward to some winter cobblers. Oh, yes. Blueberry cobblers are delicious. Blueberry, blackberry, peach. They're all right up there at the top. There's none that I like better than one. Whichever one you've got tonight is the one I like the best. <laughs> Good evening, John and Mama. Hello, Miss Janice. How are you? Hey, Carolyn. Oh, somebody's talking smack, sounds like. Because Carolyn's telling him I'm a grown man, educated, goes to the doctor. Oh, I don't know what y'all are saying. 
I'll delete them later, Carolyn. Don't fool with them. People who make negative comments will be banned. That's all I can tell you. So if you want banned off this page, go right ahead. Make you some negative comments and we'll ban you because we don't want you. That's the facts of the matter. We just don't want negative people on here. And I have that power as the owner of this page and we will use it. If you want to comment, like I said last night, that's fine. But if they're negative, you are gone. And I have people watching that, and we just ban you. So if you ever try to clog back on, if you've made a negative comment, and you can't get on, you've been banned. All right, folks. Mama is going to let that cook for 30. 30 minutes at 350. And my applesauce is done. All I do is put a lid and put it in the refrigerator, and we'll have it to dip out as we want it. Uh, <clears throat> And trust me, over these next few hot days, there's nothing any more refreshing than a cup of good cold strawberry applesauce. And it really does taste like strawberries. Now this, it doesn't weaken down. It doesn't, um, it tastes like a fresh cup of strawberries with that jello in there. And if you don't like strawberry, you can use any jello flavor you want. So, that's what you do. Get your jello flavor out that you want and put it right in there. And that's all you have to do. Very Mama's good. made this. How long you made this, Mama? Right. 30 years. Yeah. I've had to cook it though to get the berry, uh, apples up. I didn't have a chopper. Yeah, yeah, now you, if you don't, you can cook it, let it cool, and but get your apples. It's more fresher with the raw apples. Raw apples. Mm hmm. It's just a fresher. If you have uh, strawberries, you can cook your berries and your apples together, blend them up in a blender, and have this too. Uh, you don't even have to use a jello, but mm, simple, easy jello is so easy. Are we going to wait on the Peach. pie? Are those Tupperware bowls? Yes, Linda, those are. About everything we have is Tupperware. Uh, we've mamas had it for years and bought it new and you name it, we've got the old, we've got 40, 50 year old Tupperware and we've got some she got in today, I'm sure, so. Yeah, we did get some in. Uh -huh. So you're going to just put a lid on that and you'll be chill. Are you going to wait on the pie, the cobbler? You're going to wait for a minute, it'll take 30 minutes if you're in time. Do y'all want to wait for the cobbler or do you want us to just post you a picture? Try your applesauce over cottage cheese. Oh, oh yes, that's Sherry, wonderful. that would be delicious. Well, I tried that. That's good. I like strawberry applesauce, Jennifer. It's good. It really is. It's one of the go-tos. We have done other flavors. What other flavors have you done, Mama? Raspberry. Raspberry. My Mama raspberry. loves raspberry. But strawberry is always the go-to. And it seems like we only do this in the summer. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Why do we do that, people? It's why do we true. save summer flavors for summer? I love some strawberry applesauce in the winter, but it never crosses my mind. If I were going to make applesauce in the fall or the winter, I'd be saying, I wonder if we could put some pumpkin in that. We would uh, use fried pies and fried to cook mm -hmm. like apple butter mm -hmm. in the winter. I would love to. I'm going to try to make some apple butter. Could have made some of these extra apples I got. But we will bag these extra apples up. I'm going to go ahead and drain them. We can bag these up. We'll bag these Let extra me apples. Let pour it over the sink that way. It'll, you can leave it in here and let them drain good because they won't drain. I mean, they won't do good. We'll bag these up and have them. And Mama will make some fried pies on a cool fall morning. And we'll think we're just right back in summertime. We always keep fresh apples here. And uh, it don't bother us a bit to buy them. Even though we know we're not going to eat them all. When we buy a whole bag, it's hard to eat a whole bag of apples before they go a little swivelly. But we don't worry about it because as soon as they start swiveling, we peel them and uh, make. We can sometimes we make them right then. We'll have fried apples for breakfast, or we will have um, we'll bag them up and we will put them in the freezer and we'll have them for a cold winter day for apple pies or a spring day. I don't really care. Summer day apple pies are good. The best friends live there. Well, I'm not sure. Hey, Wanda. Hey, John and Mama. From Memphis. Well, Wanda, you're just down the road. Well, quite a ways. Uh, Memphis from us. Tennessee's a big old long state. Uh, if you turn Tennessee up this way, it would be almost the distance from Florida to Michigan. Uh, 
I missed the first half or oh, the first 12 minutes I'm going to have to watch the beginning for the strawberry apple sauce Tawanda it is just fresh apples that I peeled and put in ice water I've done those about lunch today and uh, I put them in through the chopper and uh, if you don't have a chopper use your blender use your food processor or just use a hand chopper or you can cook them on the stove and let them cool and do the same thing um, and then I put ended up I was gonna do a half a pack and put some more apples but I ended up putting a whole pack of three ounce of uh, dry strawberry jello I put two teaspoons of sugar and those were half measurements if in case y'all were counting on me and um, I put one cap full of vanilla flavoring in it that was it and uh, just blended it up real good and it makes a delicious refreshing go-to treat we don't count it as a dessert because we don't make anything out of it we don't use it for anything we simply eat it as is in a cup and just like you would buy applesauce and, and go to it that's what we use this for and it's just a little Refresher when you're headed out to the porch to take Maggie out I would pick me up a cup of that go out there and sit on the porch drink some good hot coffee and eat some applesauce on a hot day I know sometimes it's y'all sweet tea, but sometimes it's coffee even on a hot day. I don't consider it too crazy Hmm, I don't know I drink coffee in the winter because I say it warms me up I drink coffee in the summer because I say it don't matter I guess bottom line is I'm just going to drink the coffee. Looks yummy. Well, thank you, David, from um, Lauderdale, Florida. David, is it hot down there? Are you overwhelmed with people like us coming down there and taking up all the restaurants and all that tourist season? Are those apples cooked? Nope. Maxine, those are not cooked apples. Those are fresh. They were in the dobo this morning. Uh, and I got them out. They they just started to not look like fresh apples. When you buy them in the store, Mama bought these today. You know, they've got that shine and they're all pretty. I know that's wax. But they got it. When they start to haze over and then they start to get the least bit of swivel looking, that's when they're saying, make me into a pie. And that's when we freeze them. Um, really, apples is something that, you know, we have year-round. It's a fruit. Some fruits are seasonal or more seasonal. So, uh, but we always keep fresh apples here. How many cups of coffee do you drink a day? Jennifer. Just one, if it's a huge cup. I drink a pot and a a pot to two pots a day and they're eight cups so 16 -ish cups but now I'm gonna tell y'all when you drink a cup like this they count that as two cups when they're saying cups because this would hold 12 16 ounces um, they're using use usually talking about a five or six ounce cup a cup is eight ounces, but when coffee lingo, usually a six ounce cup in a restaurant's what you get. But I drink sometimes more, sometimes less. I usually drink in the morning, I get up and I'll drink two or three cups, and then I will take a thermos full, which will be about two more cups. And then I've got a bunch of equal coffee drinkers at my work, and uh, if one of us isn't yelling coffee, the other one is. So, and none of us ever turn it down. Um, one of my coworkers said yesterday about two o'clock, don't you think it's time for coffee? I said, you know I do. So we made us another pot about two o'clock. Usually we have at oh, work, sorry, we, we, yeah, that's all right, mama, it's tradition. <laughs> Usually at work we have a pot of the morning, always. Then at lunch, sometimes, and but in the winter more. We'll fix three pots in the winter, two pots in the summer. So, I don't know how many that would be. I don't like coffee, but I love y'all. Well, thank you, Becky. We can be friends if you don't like coffee. That's what I said. Coffee time is not about the coffee. 
I don't just sit around and talk about coffee. I do talk about it a lot, but I just hope how much I love it. But it's about the time. Just getting together, whether you're drinking sweet tea or Coca-Cola or Pepsi, whatever you want to drink, uh, it's just about spending some time together. But I just, when I first started the page, uh, it was just mostly me sitting and drinking coffee and talking. And it was just, that's what my whole idea was. Just take a little coffee break. In other words, you know, it's coffee time. Let's sit down and rest a minute. Let's sit down and chat a minute. So, uh, that's what it's really all about. Hi, John and Mama from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Beth Jordan, do you live there? Oh, I used to dream of that. That was my dream. Every time I... Look who's getting into the... Oh, that ain't supposed to be showed. Mama loves this stuff. And it's good because it's got just enough sugar with the apples and just enough what I put in there that it keeps her sugars leveled out. And it's refreshing. And uh, a lot of times she'll work out and I'm afraid her sugar's getting low. I'm eating in front of you. That's fine, Mama. I don't know You go right ahead. It's been a while since we've had it, really. Mm -hmm. Well, a couple of weeks. Um, but anyhow, yeah, I used to dream about living in Myrtle Beach. And the whole time I would be in Myrtle Beach, I'd be looking around and say, there's a house. Look, there's a house. <laughs> we went looking one time. We did. We had even considered... Uh, Campers and trailers and... Yeah, getting a small uh, in a there was a there was an area there that some people we knew had camper trailers and trailers and stuff in there, but we decided against it. And then we even looked at houses one time to see if we wanted to. But you know, you got year round upkeep, you've got tornado er, uh, hurricanes, you've got a lot to deal with. But I love Myrtle Beach. Is that thunder or car? I heard something rumble. I, I hope it's thunder, but... No, it's it's not. I didn't, out here, it's a motorcycle. It's going up the hill, so I don't... Love know. coffee, Linda. I do, too. Um, I think about coffee first thing in the morning. I think about coffee usually last thing at night. Um, now, last night, I did drink coffee. Um, I went out on the porch with Maggie for a little while. I drank coffee up to about 10 o'clock. I had a cup by my bed. And um, it didn't bother me at all. I slept like a rock. Now, if that were a work day today, You'd be up I'd have probably been up about 3 o'clock and thinking, oh, you sit and drink that coffee. Now, what I normally do, this makes no sense, so you all can go ahead and say it. If I wake up because I've drank too much coffee in the middle of the night, like at 3 o'clock, I just go ahead and get up and make me a pot of coffee. I do. Because I figure it's you've, if, if you're going to get up at 5 and it's 3.30, just go ahead and make you a pot of coffee and enjoy Not the whole me. Morning. I would have laid that down for 10 minutes. I can't do it. When I'm up, I'm up. When I'm in that, I can wake up and go back to sleep. But when I call it up, when I open up my eyes and I can't go back to sleep in about five minutes, I ain't going back to sleep. Uh, he sure wasn't that way when he was young. He hated getting up early. He would love living there. Uh, I did. Yeah, um... We used to have a sweet little lady here in Jellico that lived there for years. And she moved here with her husband when they married. And she every year that I would go uh, to the beach, we would bring her back a bag of sand and some shells. And uh, she would open it up and she'd put her fingers in it and close her eyes and she'd say, Oh, the motherland. Mm. And uh, she said she could smell home. She said I can smell home, <laughs> and uh, she loved it there. And uh, it's one of our favorite locations. Like I told y'all before, we used to go there every year, but we never counted that as vacation. That wasn't our vacation. Uh, we wouldn't go on vacation every year, but we would go to Myrtle Beach every year. <clears throat> uh, but uh, it was just given that we were going to go to Myrtle Beach. Uh, because that was just a part of our therapy. <laughs> Go and see the ocean and stay and, and enjoy. Um, Your daddy loved Myrtle Beach, the ocean to look he at. Did. That's the first one we had ever seen. He loved Myrtle Beach. He loved going down there. I am the same way with sleeping. Angie, it's a curse and it's it, it can be awful, but then it also, you know... <sighs> I hear people talking about sleepless nights and rolling, tumbling in the bed. I'm like, not me. Not me. A sleepless night means I'm up. I'm not going to lay in the bed. I can't lay in the bed not asleep. Uh, that's not... I just can't do it. So when I realize this is it, you're up, then I just get up and make coffee. I can sit in... You know, 3 o'clock in the morning, I can sit right here, do my devotions, 
do, read my Bible, drink coffee, enjoy the morning, uh, you know, get an update on the Alexa. I can just sit and enjoy a little bit of peace and harmony. And sometimes it's good for me. Sometimes I'm like, well, I'm a little tired today, but I did enjoy the relaxation. Hi, John and Mama. I love you. But well, thank you, Jacqueline. We love you too. Uh, we love y'all. We just, you know, y'all are important to us. Hey, Elaine. Hi, Mama. Mama Laney says hi to you. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Hello. Mama said hello. Mama does have diabetes, but it's careful monitoring. John and her doctor. Thank you, Miss Nella. Mama does have a little trouble with diabetes, but um, the doctor she's lost some weight. Somebody was some people was worried about Mama losing weight, but Mama tries hard, don't you, Mama? Well, not really hard. <laughs> you try though. It's not a you're not sickly losing no. weight. A lot of y'all thought she was sick last night. Said, Mama, they got you hung out. You they're going to have you shipped to the ER. But Mama no. was tired last night because if she goes to town cookbook days and going to the store and running around town they, they make for a a tired evening they didn't mean to come home and rest now mama's been to the farmer's market this morning what'd you get mama uh semi-ripe tomatoes he didn't have the real ripe ones oh we got green ones too. and green ones i got green ones and almost dry uh what else was it oh, cucumbers. cucumbers and Little fresh potatoes, new potatoes. More like new the potatoes. ones I put on mm. my green beans. That sounds great, Mama. Mm -hmm. Mama usually goes to the farmer's market, if not every Saturday, every other Saturday. They weren't many out today. I think they were prepared. getting prepared for the 4th of July. I think it's going to be a, I hope I'm not telling it wrong, a three-day event mm. this week, next weekend or whenever it is. Folks, it's 4th of July. Next weekend's Fourth of July. Uh, now say that very clo very slowly, well, and nice realize day. the fact that today is the twenty fifth day of June, which makes today six months till Christmas. I seen that on Facebook. Six months to Christmas Eve. Well, that Christmas. was yesterday. Yeah. This in six months, Christmas Eve will be in the history books. Oh wow! Six months till Christmas today, and. <clears throat> Yes. I've said it a hundred times and I'll say it again. Fourth of July, as soon as the smoke clears. <laughs> from the fireworks. From the fireworks. <laughs> you can put up your tree. I know that's too soon, but you might as well go and get a head start on it. Because kids will go back to school in a month from the fourth of July and then it's on with the holidays and Thanksgiving and Christmas and, and New Year's whoosh. and whoosh <laughs> it's gone. You will look up and it will be talking about Christmas. We will be planning Christmas dinner in just a flash. And I promise you, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but y'all ain't got near as much time as you think you have. It's later than you think. So when 4th of July gets here, you can pretty well say it is the midpoint of the year for sure, but it's also time for the holiday time for the holidays good night mom and john time to water the flowers and the plants nancy is that what you're up to it's our time too nancy oh, we'll yeah. be doing that the little plants have to be watered every night because goodness knows They're we've not had any rain our like grass is brown y'all saw the other day when we were watering flowers before the grass is brown there's just been no water one thing about ours, usually it rebounds quickly. If the grass is brown and it gets a good rain or two, it'll come out green quickly. But, uh, mm -mm. Nella's telling some about chopped fresh apples. Yes, I chopped fresh apples uh, that have been set in ice water and uh, put a pack of your favorite kind of jello flavor, and we use strawberry, and put a cap full of. Um, Vanilla flavor. Mama's already put it up. And I put two teaspoons of sugar just to give it a little extra sweet. You only have to put the sugar, no. but it, it does make a little difference. Um, I cooked homemade fresh vegetable soup today. See, now I love vegetable soup in the summer. 
Uh, a lot of people don't, but that's when your vegetables are fresh. I love to take fresh vegetables out of the garden and make a big old pot of soup. It's so good. Or make homemade uh, tomato sauce for spaghetti or whatever. Those are That's a good time to do it because you got all that freshness. Thanks for the stars, Elisa. Um, Nola solved the mystery of the paying for comments. Some of y'all think you have to pay for comments. If you send stars now, I don't know when this started. They started an option that says you can comment with your stars for 99 cents. That's with stars. And that's if you've sent stars. That's nothing to do with regular comments. It does not, and I can't say this often enough evidently, does not cost you to make a comment on this page. It does not cost you to see the recipes. It does not cost you to watch the videos. The only cost that you'll incur is by choice, and that is through ch stars or um, if you want to um, subscribe and all that stuff. We appreciate those who do, but if you can't, you don't have to. We like to use our star money to buy cookbooks from the church, and then we have cook-alongs, and then we give them back to you all as appreciation gifts. We are going to plan another cook-along. It's hard to plan. It won't be next weekend. Maybe the weekend after the 4th, we can look at having a cook-along. I think we're going to do Mama's Cherry Delight. So next weekend is booked. We may come live a couple of times next weekend, but it's booked. So we will uh, look at the following weekend. That will give us something to do after the 4th of July. And we'll give away some more cookbooks. I hope you all who got them last cook-along. Um, I hope you all got yours this week. I want to share a little something funny. Weird. <laughs> when I gave away cookbooks last time, we picked however we had. I, mean, I don't even remember how many Four we had. Or five. five or six. I don't remember. Anyhow. Two of them, randomly selected from different states, had the same digits in their address. Like, for example, 123 Mockingbird Lane, 123 something else Lane. I thought that was weird. And the digits were the exact same. Two of them, different ones, had reverse street names. Like, one of them was make something, I don't remember the exact, but it was like, the words were exactly opposite like um you know for example blue bluebird avenue and uh, there was th two words and i can't give an example i can't make up something but anyhow it was just amazing that how small the world is but two random selections and they come up with the same digits on their address mama said did you mess this up did you look at that right and i'm like she says surely they don't have the size that mama they do I've checked it. I know. I double checked. It's weird, isn't it? She said, Are you sure? I said, Mama, here it is. I had to go to the PM and show her where they had seen it. But it was weird, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. We both were like, Shocking. <laughs> so, it is a small world, folks. Very, very small world. Mm -mm -mm. Thank y'all. People had sent coffee um, okay. back couple of months ago and I opened up some this morning. I forget the that's bubbling brown mama. It looks so good. I know it. I'm gonna see if it's about ready. It's not hardly the time. Not hardly the time but But it's, it's in a littler container. It's too. looking good. Uh and I think I opened up and I love it. It's, I forget the name of it. Oh, it was go. Mama look right there in that cabinet if you don't care and let me see. That package right there on top. I was curious about this before. This is Crafted 1850, the Folger Coffee Company Pioneer Blend. Medium roast, ground cup. This is delicious coffee. Um, it still smells good. This, I opened it this morning and I put it in the canister and I Watch saved it arm. to show y'all. Whoever sent this, Watch your arm. it's delicious. Mama, I think that looks perfect. Now, folks, you, you thought I was joking about the magic. Look at this magic. This is that peach cobbler Mama just made. Look at the beautiful, beautiful crust it made on the top. I know a lot of y'all are familiar with this process, and this is something that's not new. It's been around a while. But look at that. Now, Mama's going to add some more butter. This is what my mommy always did. A so pat of butter? She put a little bit of butter on top and sprinkled sugar on her cobbler's. And that just made the crust taste 
extra good. Yeah, I may have to put it back in the oven for a second. Oh, I think it's melting. But this is something. Now we know sugars of the devil. Anytime you put sugar in anything. I'll just but it's good. Just sprinkle a little bit on there. You want me to? Yeah, you got it already spooned up there. All right, Mama. You trust me with the magic. I'm not going to need to stick it in. I just that was just a half a teaspoon. Nah, I wouldn't put it back in there, Mama. I think that's going to melt in just a hurry. There it is, folks. Half a half a half a cut of everything. You can make this bigger. You can make this for your Sunday lunch tomorrow. But I would use, this is enough peaches for one this size. I wouldn't want to make it with fewer peaches. No, for a 9 by 13 or whatever it calls for, you definitely have to have one of the larger cans or two or more of the smaller ones because that really didn't cover all of the bottom. You probably can get by with the same amount of crust, maybe a little bit more, but uh, for this one, I wouldn't want to use any less peaches. There you go. Get your bite and let's try and see. Mom, that butter's done melted. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mama, let's, let's try it. Have you got your spoon left over there yet? I do. My jello spoon. Is it done, Mama? What's that mean? It's, it's not going to be hard in there. Mm -mm. You think it's done? Yeah. I don't want much of it right now. So Thanks. that's done. Make sure you like it. Yeah. Let's try it. Just sample. Mm-hmm. Y'all want about it. There it is. Mama, you try it and see what see, you think. See, it could have used more peaches in this smaller one. Yeah, it really could have. Mm. Well, Mama, it's hot. <laughs> it is now. I tasted that little bite of butter on top. It was good. It's delicious. Very good. And filling. Can you imagine how good this would be with fresh peaches? Mm -mm. Now you can make this with any fruit that you like. So if you like cherry cobbler, use some cherry uh, pie filling. If you like to have some fresh cherries, you can, the mixture of the fruit is yours. Blackberry, oh, blackberry. And it said have it with vanilla ice cream, mama. You're not going to follow those directions either. I don't have vanilla. I've got some caramel something and sherbet. No, I don't think I want sherbet. Mm -hmm. Maybe tomorrow there'll be some ice cream to go on. Ooh. It's warm. I know that. Mama, it comes straight out of the Eve's Gate bag. I know one thing. It's good with coffee. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. It's very good. It is. Copy, copy, copy. Well, I've never tried the half and half cups, but, but that's plenty big enough. Now, Mama, when you made before, did you put extra peaches in it? I put big cans and two or three to cover the whole bottom. Two or three? Well, a 12 by 13 is a... Nine by 13. Nine by 13, I mean. It's big, and you want peaches... So when you made this before, you yeah. would always put two cans or three cans? Yeah, it's just according to what, how much the peaches, you know. And what about the mixture? Did you increase it? Mm-mm. Nope. I cup. A cup, a cup, a cup. Yeah. So she doubled the mixture. When you And you used a double the peaches, or at I least. A cup, a cup, a cup. We used to have something here, y'all may know what I'm talking about, called ragged peaches. It came in a can. 
I think they were called Rago, Rago peaches or some R A G O peaches. Seems like it. Yeah. They were the best. They taste just like fresh peaches. If you can get them year round. And of course, that went away. And it was. Uh, they were called. They was called that, but they were overripe. Overripe, ragged peaches. That and sit the, on the reason they're called ragged is this. Like from overripe peaches, you wouldn't have perfect slices. No. It'd just be pieces and stuff. But they exactly. the I think way. probably they'd cut bad spots off for a moment or something. But they, were so they were so good. Mm. We used to make peach cobblers out of them, and they were just like fresh peaches year round. Mm -hmm. It'll be peach time in a minute, and we'll have some good peaches, hopefully. I remember when we was little, I mean, I was little, Daddy would buy peach truck would come around or peach mm -hmm. wagon selling peaches and daddy would buy a bushel of uh, overripes he, they called it mm -hmm. and they was a lot cheaper because they were starting to get real bad and that was my favorite peaches the overripes the overripes well the they, sugars had developed in them they're all soft and they are the best yeah they're kind of like they've been cooked for a little while. They're they're the best, really. And if we buy peaches in a box, we will always <clears throat> try to pick out the green ones, set them aside, let them ripen a little bit more. The ones that are already really ripe, um, we'll make something or put them in the fridge, and then we keep some, and we put them in a bowl and let them ripen, really ripen. And we'll make a cobbler, or we'll make them over ice cream, or we'll make just... Um, Peach peaches jam, and cottage cheese. or put peaches and cottage cheese. It's delicious. Well, folks, we waited it out. We was able to talk that long. Mama was worried that we wouldn't be able to talk long. No, enough. I wasn't that worried about you. <laughs> but we're gonna say good night. It's seven eighteen. Time to water the flowers. And go to bed in a minute. Mama, we can't go to bed. I ain't going to bed this early. I got coffee. Not today. this early, but it won't be long. It'll. It's like you say July to Christmas. It goes swoosh of the evenings sometimes. Evenings are the fastest time of day. Mornings are pretty quick too. Mm -hmm. Mornings go by really quick for me. Sometimes I don't mind getting up at 4 o'clock. I don't like getting up at 3 always. But sometimes 4 o'clock is pretty good. Oh well, hard to... Hard as a rock. What's that mean? Kim, what do you mean? Okay. No, oh well, hard as a rock. You talking about peaches? Ragged peaches, yes, Linda, those are the best. Hello from Ohio. Hey, Barbara from Ohio, how are you doing? See you in the morning, Carol. Uh, Lord willing, we'll be here for Sunday School Highlights. And, um... We're still in our same series. And if you haven't checked out Sunday School Highlights, it's usually between 9.30 and 10 or sometimes a little after 9. It just depends on whenever um, I get around to doing it. I try to be on some kind of schedule, but we don't do schedules. <laughs> no, we sure don't. We're just sort of, you know, flying by the seat of our pants here. But anyway... It's live, so when I start, it starts, and when it stops, it stops, and that way I don't have to worry about uploading it. Now, I used to, when I recorded it ahead of time, I had to do it early, record it, and it would depend on how long it took to upload. Sometimes it wouldn't upload after church at 12 o'clock, so thank goodness, you know, live is a better option for that. So we started that about, well, six or eight months ago, or maybe longer. Time flies. I remember. Time flies. So, folks, we're going to say good night. We're going to say, y'all, find you something good to eat. And enjoy your evening. Enjoy what's left of the daylight. It's pretty pretty much daylight out there now. And let's pray for a little bit of rain. Send down the rain. We're ready for it. So, um, you all enjoy your evening. And enjoy your morning. Wake up refreshed, renewed, and say, thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Be blessed. And enjoy your night. Uh, have a restful sleep. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you all. God bless bye you. Bye bye.